I'm a gnome, and you've been gnome.
Hi, 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 hello. Thank you, uh, thank you, Kat, for the follow. Um, and, uh, Kami is gone, but, <laughs> thank you for the raid. Check, check me a second. I, 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 um, start streaming and then just start preparing for actual. <laughs> started actually preparing for the stream and well sometimes sometimes this time for anyone's a mart I am going to uh, send Kami a little thank you just because <laughs> he immediately went the hell to sleep which is fair but like want him to know at least but yeah i'm gonna be finishing up uh oh my tracking already hello Erna doesn't like me tonight we might have to do video tube that's fun i mean i'm glad it happened early well i'm setting up ish still that's something at least at least. Alright, whenever video uh, video 2 wants to load, that'd be uh, perfect. Tiny little program, but sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. There we go, I'm small now. And apparently it reset to the default setting of bouncing whenever I talk, which I turned off. Let me... Let me... Let, let me not do that. But thank you, Kat. I got, um, I got my dress off the booth. I do... I think I have the, uh, link in my... Description. Let me, uh, check where it was. But, unfortunately, I can't see her now because, um, well... And technology, <laughs> but let's see, because it should be. <laughs> Which uh, do not let me down now, please actually load. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's the off shoulder dress, it's on the very top of my credits <clears throat> by Hula Flatworks. Their stuff is really good, so I recommend them if you have a V Red model using it since um forever it's it's been around a while but i like it quite a lot hey miku okay i'm actually gonna send send Kami a little uh, thank you for reading and then we'll be good to go Also, I should probably mention on my Twitter.com that I'm starting the stream, as you do. That's, I mean, it's it's kind of a good idea. Yeah, v red models. I, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see when I graduate off of having a v red model. I mean, like, I've been using this a good bit since uh, my internet is, um, d well. But I do like it a lot because um, Sierra got Sierra very nice, so it works out. All right. Okay, now I can officially actually get started on uh, doing drawing shit because um, you see, we've been like 15 minutes and well. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it's like that. 
I love that I can't get Clip Studio to consistently open on the right screen because it's my tablet screen, which isn't always plugged in, which you would think an art program would be, you know, obviously programmed to, 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 to deal with effectively. Yeah, it's bad. I remember when it used to be that you can like even drag the tool palettes and shit to a different window. It's like what? What? What do you think people are drawing on their main monitor? Do you think that's how that works? It's not. Just gotten to be tubing using Vera Studio. Yeah, yeah. Vera Studio is fun. I mean, like, like I honestly. <laughs> I really do need to go back to Big Red and just screw around with shit, because it's been way too long. It's fun. If you want to crash rate, just sign your DMs. <laughs> listen! Listen, listen. All right, I don't actually have Vito Tube set up on my art scenes. Wow, that's. I mean, easy to fix, but. Get that going, and now, switch. I also want to get the reference up, because that is kind of essential. Kind of useful to have. I'm so sad that Slinky River's account got taken. That's, that's really good. That's a really good name. That's sad. Oh well. Where do you start your girlfriend a custom custom steampunk doll bunny girl? Fuck yeah! I can't believe I can get follower. I mean, honestly, if these bot accounts would like just follow me, I don't know. Like they, it would be empty follows, but I'd appreciate the number. I suppose I did happen. Not too long ago, and I sure did pan well, but uh, you, you see. You see. Yeah, today is... My first... Stream of year two of streaming, technically. Counting from when I started, uh... Being a VTuber, it's weird to think about. I'm not really doing anything special today because, like, it's the middle of the week and that would be hard to do. Um, but... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, working on your second model gets you a bit more comfortable with the shit. It helps. Keep thinking like, oh, I could go in and make a model for like this character just for funsies or like whatever else, and I never do. <laughs> Imagine being productive. Could be me. I mean, I suppose that's not. <laughs> that's that's just uh, fucking around with software at that point. But um, still. I'll get to it eventually. Thank you, Miku. Yeah, it's been it's been a interesting year. I it's 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 hard to know what to say. Like I, I back on my funny VTuber birthday, I posted a whole thread about like how it'd been you know almost a year at that point and all that shit. Yeah, it's just kind of weird that time has passed. Y you know. Like, damn, we're really here, a year in on, um... Being, be, be, being, uh... Really, I mean, any sort of, like, entertainer role online is, like, weird for me. Because, like, it is something I've sort of wanted to do, but it's never something I thought that I could do very good at. So... I don't know. But thank you. But yeah, having to learn Unity 2 for it, it's, it's, mm. 
I, I really do want to learn a thing or two about 3D modeling because I sure never did take any classes in college because like I was like I can't do 3D shit which isn't untrue isn't untrue I'm I'm my 3D visualization skills are um shit and something something about working with 3D tools like digital or physical is just like don't really work for me. Still. Struggle is with no experience. <sighs> I'll, I'll get to even that part at some point, personally. I saw, like, a mutual of mine making, like, a custom anime figure of, <laughs> you know, one of their anime weapons. <laughs> I was like, damn. Now, now you've got me tempted to learn for a completely different reason. Things about all the characters I like who have no merch at all. Hmm. There's so many... Just a lot of skills I want to practice. I want to practice singing, I want to practice voice acting, I want to learn languages. But I don't really have the... Um, ability to hold myself to doing it. Any one of those things. So it's, um, you know. I gotta, gotta focus on the thing that I'm trying to make a career out of on some level, probably. Might be smart. Honestly, using 2D, like my 2D model for when I'm drawing might be a good idea in general. <clears throat> Just because, um, he's tracking for this, uh, hmm. Foreign custom models cost a lot. That's fair. Yeah, they are. Bleh. I'm, <clears throat> I'm like looking into shit now. I've got like, I mean, I've had like artists I've been looking at for what, since I was since I hit like maybe six months, seven up, seven months, eight months of streaming, and it's always oh, just been like, oh maybe, but I'm like, mm. perhaps truly, actually maybe now that I've been doing this for a year and kind of want to upgrade, I don't know. It's so much to think about, though. There's so much to ugh, have. Like, it's such an investment. <laughs> yeah, Blender is a lot. I don't blame you for being scared. It's 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 the best one to learn since it's free and it's like industry standard. It's, if you care about that kind of thing, but it's definitely a lot. Hi, watermelon. I remember dabbling with blender when i was younger and like i not too too bad but like it's a lot it's a lot to take in like <laughs> cat needing yeah yeah hell yeah Like, just getting to the stuff of being able to make basic shit in 3D, especially since Blender isn't exactly an approachable program, is, um, well... But yeah, like I said, I was, like, looking at what a friend of mine was making in... I think Blender? And I was just like, hmm. Because I do think I have, like, a general idea of how, like, the sculpting process and that works, at least in terms of, like, how you think about it. I think it is really cool how people... This is just generally how sculpting works in general for, like, a lot of things. Where they, like, draw the front view on the... Like, you know, they start with the, the, the big block of... I don't know, material. And they draw, like... Or apply a sketch of like the front side on the front, the side on the side, and then just cut those 
outlines out and then work from there. Yeah, that's no, cool. It's a cool process. It's not to, not to have to scour the interrupts for accessories. Yeah, yeah. There's like, there is a lot of good stuff on Booth, but there is definitely, it's like a struggle to find stuff that works all together, or like is exactly what I'm looking for, or isn't like just like really what I want, you know. Sucks too that the uh, native like the red stuff is kind of like I I really do like the tools they've added to make like it easier for you to make basic clothes and shit. But they all kind of the fit on all of them kind of sucks even if you try and modify it. Really would want to listen. Listen. Like, I remember fussing out that trying to make something good for, like, the silly, like, this kind of girl loves Corona shirt. It's, like, even for something as simple as that, like, I tried on the t-shirt, the default t-shirt, t-shirt thing, whatever it was. It's, was like, so baggy. It was, like, ridiculous. And it's, like, I get it. You're, you, it's, like, you don't want to, don't want it to be too specific or other otherwise they'll be super warped on specific models or whatever but like man good motivator i guess pain this exploring from v road finding his truth model after you've already had new yeah it's, uh, the process, like, all I use the Unity for in terms of my model is adding, um, the, uh, AR kit blend shapes. But it's such, like, a thing that, like, I have to, you know, make absolutely sure I'm done. And, like, if I ever, if I ever make an edit to my model in, um, v I have to do the process of, like, adding the blend shapes all over again. Just, like, man. When will they add that native, like... Well, I guess since, like, the current technique for AR kit blend shapes on uh, Beard models is using paid, um, uh, a paid thing. I, like, I don't know, hire the person who made that shit and have it as, like, a paid add-on. I don't know. Build, build it in natively so you can export it as that. Think it'd be cool. They're doing so much work. And you could pay them even more than people are already paying for them for the thing, because they're bringing, they could be bringing in profits for you. Just a thought. That's all I'm saying. Maybe someday. They have made some really nice advancements with the, uh, particularly with the full release of Vroid. I'm still waiting on them adding, like, cat tails to match the cat ears. I mean, I guess, I guess it's because you wouldn't really see it much and, like, the ears are, like, can be played with to the point where they become, like, yeah, you, know, you can make them into wolf ears, whatever else. Whereas, like, a tail would be pretty specific. Um, just want BC pace to read metallics. Yeah. That's fair. It's fair. I thankfully use just, like, a nice, simple fabrics for my looks. I don't do anything too complicated. Just a simple cat girl. So I don't have to worry about much. I can't imagine having to, like, try and make all that shit work. I remember seeing like in the tutorial I was watching for AR kit blend shapes the person had like this glow effect on their model it's like that doesn't seem like particularly hard per se but I still don't want to do it. Never used VR Studio before? Oh, Should make yourself a little model for funsies.
It's nice. It's a nice little program. Honestly, though, it, for all for all the issues, it is a godsend for the VTuber community. Not that it'd be that awful for y'all that to be PNG dubers, but I mean, the fact that you can do the, you know make your own model for literally uh, free. Because there, there is a barrier of entry, even if you have the money to afford, like, 2D artwork, where you'd have to actually think of a design, and you couldn't just, like, pop open Vroid and play around. You could use, like, I don't know. Doll dress up shit, character creators, whatever, as, as they do, but... It's nice. Just compared to the one you made in Blender. Ooh, true, 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 true. That's fair. Yeah, um, AU where I did a PNG model all the time instead of starting out with the V-Red. I would, I don't think I would have looked anything like this if I did that. Because this model is the result of me fussing around with V-Roid. I'm not sure what I would have done. I, I'm not sure I would have started being a VTuber because that would have taken way more thought than just like, Haha, I'm going to play around with this program. I honestly, I don't... I might not have Miku. You might have to send me a little picture. I'm I'm not, I'm I'm I might need some pics in the DMs. <laughs> There's a lot of friends who have like debuted their models or like made made changes and shit like ages ago. But like I I just never <laughs> I am a VTuber who like almost never actually watches streams. And so... I just, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll, I, 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 I should go watch that, I should go see, I should go check out your new shit. And, well, I forget to do this. <laughs> you notice that's, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's very fair. Streaming is one thing. But whenever I'm like... Not stream, I'm just like, I want to watch anime or something, I want to play video games. <laughs> I do, like, I, I do enjoy watching my friends' streams, but it's always like... There's always other things where I'm like, I want to, like, get done with this one series or something. <laughs> I'm glad you still do, Miku. Yeah, logos are... Yeah, that's fair. That's taxing to think about. Design shit is hard. Honestly, like, it took me this long to have, like, anything close to an outfit planned. Hint, hint, wink, wink. But, um... I should tell you... <clears throat> what it would have been like if I tried to have like a completed design in the first place. I don't know how long it would have taken me to start streaming. <laughs> never message by all or maybe a VP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> I'm never there to talk. I stop buying people's streams occasionally. Sometimes. But. Truly, I should, I should more often, like, put people on the background while I'm, like, drawing in, like, as a reason to, uh, keep up with, uh, drawing and doing that shit on a regular basis, because also, vice versa, it's an excuse to watch streamers. Um, you know.
And of course, part of it is also my schedule. Because, I mean, I, if, well, I can't really claim that once I, like, specifically have made friends with people who stream late at night. But, it, I mean, it does stop me from watching, like, certain friends who don't stream after me. I know people who stream late enough that I can collab with them, but not late enough that, like, I can necessarily watch them. Oh, cat mood. I wish I could do design so that I, so I, I, I could just do my own logo, but, um, I can't. I don't think I'd do awful, but... I wouldn't do good enough to be satisfied with it for something as significant as that. Because there's not, like, graphic design is such a different skill than, like, character art, and I'm not even, like, I think I'm pretty good, I'm pretty alright, but, like, you know, even, like, even that is, like, you know. Leak message. How, how long did I take to notice that, I wonder? Um. Ooh, yeah. Hell yeah, I love a mask. It is a very nice model. I like it very much. Actually, I'm gonna open up... Never another reference for myself. I won't won't put it on on screen because I'll wait a bit to reveal it for for realsies. But I did have another nice drawing of me. That'd be nice to look at. Okay. Because there are certain changes to my design that I, well, mm, the changes might be, well, it's, there, there, we'll, you'll see. Because one major thing is I am simplifying a lot of the hair stuff because it's a pain in the ass. The stripes. Hi, Connie. Ever just get a song stuck in your head? Yeah, constantly all throughout my life. <laughs> that is my everyday. Just just the first word of it. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, when you can't get like it's always like a certain phrase for me that I just can't get out of my head. It's, it's a pain. Like, please. Please, why is my, like, mental CD player skipping so much? I, like, I love this song. I'd like to listen to the full thing. I'd like to play that for myself in my head. But apparently I'm not allowed to do so. Problem with the hurdle too. Cause like I'll try to think of a song and I'll only be able to do that. Like I'll hear the intro, I'm like, I know where that's from. I'll try to like continue it in my head. It's it's like, yep. You sure know that part. It's all you get. All you get. I 
the tail animations. Yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like. I have no experience, per se. Does sound like it'd be a massive pain. I wish you the best, because it would be very cute. It would be very cute to do. But yeah. It's a lot. Ooh, more Mikus. They're very cute. How do I proceed on this? Drawing. What a pain. What a pain. Always and forever. I really just have to go faster, care a little less. Focus on what's important. No matter how much it pains me. Because otherwise I'm going to be stuck here forever. We can bun some of that out in beard without looking after the clipping. Yeah, it's... I literally... I try to make a ponytail. <laughs> oh, Connie, thank you for the... Yeah. Uh, I, I tried to make a ponytail hairstyle in v because it's like, oh, this would be a fun little, like, alternate look. My god! I don't know how you even do the, like... To, like, having the hair be pulled up into where the ponytail would go. Like, the, there's a reason I went with, like, just, like, a little half-up side tail, so I wouldn't have to deal with that, because it's... You just can't, like... Unless you want to stick with, like, the base hair. Like, the, you know... Whatever... Whatever you would call... You know, the, like... The layer of hair that's, like, literally just a texture on the skull, all that. Unless you want to do that and look like, you know... Ballerina level like super tight ponytail. You can't. I fuck with the mesh for that layer. Yeah. Like I and I had to try like I, you know drawing the hair going the right direction, fucking with the mesh to make it so it would stay there. Didn't work. You would just like want to drop the hair back down. It's like why? How 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 can I tell you that this hair is like pinned up into here? And not like it's bad. Nightmare. Maybe if I knew a little more about 3D modeling. But alas. No. Mm. But I'll, I'll maybe, maybe, maybe learn a little more about that shit someday. be able to actually um, do things? I don't know. Another thing but a simple way we can bun side tail and some square bangs. Hell yeah. Yeah, I like did not really look up much in the way to I, I I watched like one little video on like how to do hair and beard and it's like 
Yep, I know enough to make a model now. And I made my first model. It hasn't honestly changed that much since. Sometimes simple is best. Sometimes simple works. But yeah, no, there is a lot of really nice tutorials for um, b -Roid. It's nice. There's a part of me that also wants to learn how to do live 2D shit too, just because like, ooh, I could do that. I could make models, right? Imagine. God, would it be a lot of work? Rigging, rigging is something else. And I'm like equally curious to learn how to do that shit and not entirely willing to like invest so much of my life into making that happen. There's so much. There's 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 just so much. Just make it look half decent. He really is a marketable skill. Yeah, exactly. It's like, wow, this would be cool to do, but there really there there's a reason it's like a several hundred dollar thing price wise. There's a there there there's a good reason for that. It's because it's hard. <clears throat> Hard to learn. Hard to make shit look good. Yeah, it's like I see people doing some wild ass shit with that, with live 2D models, and I'm like, wow, wouldn't it be cool to be able to do that? Well, I don't have the willpower to learn that though. So many things I wish I was able to do, but they require, like, years of learning. I'm like, mm, I don't know that I care that much. Like, it seems like it's fun to do. But. Oh, to be able to work, like, every creative job without burning out or, you know, anything else. Simply have to become a multi-talent somehow, despite um, my bad work ethic. Oh hell yeah, though! DIY and that shit is the way to go. I don't know, maybe I'll just draw silly little models to put together in, um... Live to do at some point, just so, like... 
Oh, that's so I can at least have the other ones and see if I actually enjoy it. I don't know. And of course, Life Tattoo can also be used for, like... What would you call the, like... Kind of moving our people's pieces people make with it. I know there's a lot of like mobile games that use them for like login screens and shit. But then I have a special like illustration with like, like wow, look, all the characters are moving because it's live 2D. Those are always fun to look at. You can always definitely tell they're live 2D because they're a little goopy, but like it's fine. They're cool. Remember seeing a lot of cool stuff in. He was, um. Brian Sui's, uh, reel in that regard. For like one chip girls game i think ship girls game i think he did some stuff for it's cool stuff Like versatile. I also keep seeing like the updates to um uh, what was that? What's the program all the 2D VTubers use? V v VTube Studio? Um where they add like all sorts of wild bullshit you can do with your model and just like I would like to play around with that. Huh. Would be fun. Hey Sentinel, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, PRPR life is also a thing. I forget about that one. I forget about that one a lot. <clears throat> Maybe after this I'll pop open one of these things again and play around a bit before I go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Sentinel. Get you some good rest, though. That's important. Thank you for stopping by. It's always fun to play around with them. Um, Different software though, just see what you can do. The amount of programs I have downloaded that are inc incredibly like specialized, where I'm just like, ooh, let's see what this can do. Let's see if I can get this. <clears throat> See how this shit works. Thinking back when, to when I downloaded the Vocaloid just to see, like, just to play around with like how, how you even synthesize the voices and shit like that. It's fun stuff. Just gonna... Go over it with like more definite outlines.
Been lying if I said I had any idea what I'm doing with all this, but you know. So it is. I also need to actually consider, like, I've got, like, a lot of funny little ideas for, like, content that I just have not acted on. Because they take work. That, like, I'm thinking, like, oh, well, now that I'm, like, a year in, maybe I should, like, get down to work. I also, like, put off, like, editing clips for, like, a month. Because I'm, um, very smart. Great at remaining relevant online. I stream consistently, but, um... Takes a bit more than that. But at least my new funny clip is doing reasonably well. Small victories. Spending so long in this shit, I don't really should not really do that kind of thing because it's. But I do want to be able to finish this at some point. Would be nice. I just still have no idea what I'm doing with, like, the outline, like, how I want to meet, like, the kind of happy medium and going for with, like, the painted stuff and, like, still having sort of, sort of something. But uh, this is also kind of a style exercise anyway, so it all works out. Ish, probably, hopefully, dear God. One can only hope with art. Reels are hard. 
So many of those shits. They're nice. But annoying as hell. Simply too much for my poor baby hands. You want me to do detailing? This this detailing I'm putting upon myself that no one else is making me do? Well. Suppose I'll suffer. I mean, this, this works reasonably well. So there's that. Try and make these not look too much like fingers, even though it is like that cream color. <laughs> so that's a little disturbing. The problem with using this kind of shade for clothes. Of course, now that I put it out into the world, it's impossible to truly. Get rid of it. Cream color. Listen, Miku, hold on. Wait. Didn't intend it that way. It is far too sleepy of a stream day. Probably good at that. Uh, good that it is, though. Uh, the kind of a chill, sleepy day because I do need to get to rest at some point for an appointment. So it's probably best if I can just knock out ASAP. But I gotta get in good progress on this first. It's important, and it's not that early, so. Thankfully, I managed to schedule it in that nice sweet spot of not too close to work, but not uh, not require me to get up too early. Which is always annoying. Aw, Miku. So caring. But yeah, working late schedules gives me the delight of making scheduling anything. Impossible because nothing, not nothing particularly like for important shit. So like medical, whatever, is like. Huh, you want to schedule on weekends? No. You want to schedule like off of work hours? <laughs> Get up early. Because even if they did, if, if they are open reasonably late, I uh, I am I sure I'm gone by then.
uh, to be able to schedule these things for my off days so that I can have one, like, scheduled thing that isn't just me playing video games for people on the internet per day. But no. I'm forced to live in this world where I must, um, go to an appointment then go to work within, like, a couple hours. What a nightmare. Just far too much to expect for you to do, like... Anything important... On the same day that I have a shift. It's kind of gross, though, if I do it, if I detail it like that. Mm. Miku, I, I'm, I'm glad you do. <laughs> Some nights you just gotta be cozy. Some nights that's just the vibe. Good night for an art stream to land on, because just sitting here and detailing all this bullshit while uh, listening to <laughs> Beats You Relax the uh, Sleep To is, um, it's nice. I'm just gonna think of that area alone for a while, because I'm not getting much of any improvement, so... Get back to that later. I want to do, like, highlights on this, but, like, it's a very, like, matte fabric. So that's hard. It's hard to make it look good. I guess I can't just do shinies. Expect it all to expect it to all work out. Sad, awful for me. Now, if I do this, you're not gonna fill part of my hair, right? Of course you do. Connected pixels only. Try that. Hmm. Greater color margin. Because most of this I'm going to want to be darker. This is just like kind of the stripey areas that I'm ending up coloring here. Um, I'll make this brighter spot too. Tap over here. And the darks. Down like, eh, it needs to be a bit darker. The, uh, the exact opposite if I wanted. Hmm. It's like not even selecting the right color. Yeah. Mm. 
And that's basically what I want. Okay, like... It feels like I, these these brushes used to be so nice. Something something's changed about them to make them more like the blur tool. It's like I don't need that. Color stretch, how much color did it? Turn that down a bit, I think. Low. Just want this to be very vibrant. See how muddy it gets? Ugh. Way too uh, vibrant. Just need a tad bit more. Like that. Just want this as like a bottom layer, and then I can actually give it like a nicer texture and all that. Basic, but a most layer of all this. I mean, it's not really matching with the. Here, I'm gonna do that though. Mm. It's also unfortunately the outline mixing in that causes it to get all goofy. This gives me a lot of the nice mid-tones that I can work with now. This gives a nice bit of a smoother transition. really did become something of a squirrel tail somewhere along the line when I was designing, but that's fine for me. I think it works. I mean, it was intentional for a moment, so I guess it wasn't really an accident. And it's like, oh, you know what? It's whatever. I'm not gonna make that, like, a thing. I mean, what better inspiration for, for really big fucking tails, though? 
oversized as hell. What more could he ask for? Using this to make the feels relatively correct for matching the texture to the hair. The problem with it having been like a week since I last worked on this. <laughs> At least a week since I did the hair. Bit of shadow in there from. I think lighting is largely coming from frontish. It's a good thing to you know figure out and re remember your lighting direction. But well, imagine being smart. Making good, normal. Rational decisions with art. Could be me. Could not be me. Bit of an outline. Or more than a bit, I think. Mm, something. Yeah, something. Yeah, it's a tail. Probably. One can only hope.
Need to also bring up shoe references, that'd be useful. Be helpful to have. I love when I try to kill, click an image to expand it and I get linked to the damn website. It's so cool. No, I don't want to buy your clothes. I just wanted to reference them for art. Please. I do not want to save 10% off. I'm merely stealing the idea of these shoes. Let me get away with it. Of course I won't. Such things are not allowed. in here being sleepy and drawing this is making me think of like man wish it was friday night already so i could go to sleep knock out and for however long and then the next day i'd have fun streaming stuff to do i mean i do i do have fun streaming up streaming stuff to do tomorrow but i got something in the um, along the lines of plans for saturday for celebration and i want to do that shit already. I want to be there. E evil of the world to not allow this to happen right now. Straight up. Like, I'm... Once again, looking into like remote jobs because it's like, wow, I could I could save time on transit. I could wake up a bit later. I wouldn't have to look decent, which would mean a more time to sleep, b more time to stream. I want it so bad. I want it. I want it for me. But something, finding something I have the credentials for that pays as well as my current job and actually gives me benefits is, um, well. Especially something that doesn't require me to call people. Which would be nice. Would that I were able to do an art-related career, but, um... I think I'm going to need to buff up my portfolio to get accepted to any of that shit. One of these days. I am keeping an eye out for that kind of thing though. Or like I... Looking at job listings for that, it's all like... Have at least several years worth of experience. It's like... Hmm. Huh. Alright. Or like something I hypothetically would not mind doing, but I have nowhere near the amount of experience to do it as a job. I'm just like, man, yeah, I think I'd be fine with doing compositing work, but am I prepared to do it? No.
it's it's uh I love employment. <laughs> Clearly, y'll just have to get me famous, and then I'll be able to subsist off of this alone, which definitely won't be a shit ton of work. But I mean, you know. I joke as if that's not solely my responsibility. Uh, Self-promotion, uh, editing clips, uh, making original content. So that <laughs> people want to check me out. Mm. So much work. So much I still need to do. Like I said, I got ideas, but man. The funny thing about having cool ideas for content is you actually have to put in work to make said content. After having that idea, you can't just, you know, blow it into the ether. <laughs> somehow, somehow. This is, this is just how the cruel world works. Like, I keep thinking of like, oh, this would be fun, this would be fun to do, and it, there's a lot of it that I think I will try out at some point in, or, at some point or another, but that is the crux of the issue, is like, when am I gonna, like, do it? When am I gonna put in the work to make it happen? Mm. We'll get there, but... <laughs> Not without dragging myself through the whole process. We'll see how long it takes me. Surely I'll be motivated to make progress towards my cool VTuber goals next week, next month. Whatever. We'll get there. does remind me there is something I do. <laughs> There's stuff I want to work on after stream. There's stuff I really want to work on after stream, but I have like... I know I have an appointment in the morning, so it's like... <sighs> Realistically, I should just sleep, which sucks! It sucks that I... that, like, the best option. The, the, the smart thing to do. Would just be to get some food and me get the hell to sleep as like once I am satisfied with where I'm at in this. Like I wanna do stuff. I wanna work on my funny little projects. Just need to take another little vacation for myself. This time I do stuff on it. Vacation from my real person job, I should say. I'd still be streaming, because, um, I'd miss it too much. Eventually I probably should, you know, take a week off. We'll see how long it takes before I really think I need that. It's healthy, though. It's healthy to do. I don't know. Maybe I'll... 
give myself anniversary time off and do like <laughs> I, it's like it's weird to be like oh i should like i i should stream less like at least once because it's like i don't i don't, I don't want to you know fun free time thing but um then I was like I'm realizing like well there are some things I'd like to work on related to stream that I can't do live that might be smart to like give myself more time to do at some point here yeah decisions Figure it out eventually. We'll see. Truly, my 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 greatest accomplishment yeah, accomplishment recently is finally finishing Legends Arceus after um putting that off forever. Great game. Sure wasn't making much plot progress for a long ass time. Yeah, but now I can't be spoiled anymore, even though I got the biggest thing spoiled for me, unfortunately. <laughs> so it was um a bit a bit too late. Uh, but you you uh you see. I think I do want to actually play through, um... I'm probably getting Violet. I'm probably getting Violet. Uh, that when it comes out. Actually on stream this time. I'm glad I didn't with, um, Legends Arceus, just because it would have been... I, I don't know. Been much to try and squeeze that in there. That's nice to experience things off stream. From time to time. But... Playing the mainline game on stream for the first time. Cool. No special gimmicks, no nothing. Just a raw new experience. You have some fun with it. I honestly, for all I know, there's been some sort of news about Scarlet Violet. I don't think there's been. Um, that I've just completely missed, but it feels like that's how shit tends to go with Pokemon releases for me. Is like, I'll find out the thing is coming out and be like, Shh, cool. Uh, wait for it to come out, find out that there's been like 50 different press releases in the meantime, once I actually get it. Like, huh. Well, I sure only paid attention to the original announcement. It's the only way to live.
not have the kind of quite as much energy as I did when I was younger to keep up with them. Video game news, I still do for the most part, but it's like. Don't keep my ears open for, you know, the drip feed quite as much. Did it at a certain point where I'm like, eh, you know, like, if, if I hear about a stream, I'll watch it. For fun. But ultimately, when it comes out, it's not gonna change. Doesn't make much difference if I know in advance or not. You know, about all the cool new shit or whatever. I mean, hey, they, uh, they're adding the uh, Pokemon Home support to the remakes and Legends at a convenient time, considering I have... I, I, I'm now uh, obligated to get <laughs> a, a shiny for a certain uh, wiggly upon. I think we knew about that at the time, but I don't think it was explicitly announced yet. How long of a wait, of a wait was it was going to be? God, that's right. That is something I have to, on some level, plan for streaming at some point. <laughs> Baby's first shiny hunt in since I was like a kid. I'm sure. Uh, well, actually, I mean, I, I, I did hunt for, like, uh, Shiny Staryu and, like, X, just because I wanted to try out the fishing. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. I did actually breed some Shinies and, um, at least one in, um, Sword. So, never mind. It hasn't been that long. Hey, at least bred a Zigzagoon. Because I like the little clown. I'll figure out what I'm doing. For all that. At some point. All that makes me wish I could. It makes me wish the games were more trans friendly and that I could change uh, name and. For the, thing, the, for the sake of the older games that aren't necessarily a streaming concern, also gender. After the fact, I'm like, wow. Like, I. I'm, I am not named Parfait in. At least Sword. And I would like to be able to do funny stream stuff with that. Hey, Game Freak. What if... What if I could just do that? You know, instead of playing through the entire game all over again. I look longingly at the features that, like, Temtem and should have. I'm like, wow, they'll never, but I wish they would. Being able to change your name, character, appearance, pro pro pronouns after the fact, all that shit. Underrated feature and whatever you would call the kind of genre that Pokemon is where you continue to play the game for a long time after release, not just for, like, replay purposes, but because of whatever. I'm 
guess it's kind of unique in that respect in a lot of ways, though. Like, what other game do you play not for, like, the replay value, but of, like, oh, I have plenty of little creatures in here I want to revisit. You know. I guess that could be me with Etrian Odyssey, though, considering the number of games that I have not beat these six stratum in. That still feels different. But... Then again, I could see myself once I'm done with all the, like, games I do on going back occasionally to be like, Oh, I want to do, like, a thing with this uh, guild I made. Because I miss them. <sighs> That's a game I wish, wish I could stream but can't for different reasons. Just because it's a bad stream game. <laughs> I want to figure out something for that eventually. Some way I could just like do like a single... Uh, single stream worth of content off of it. For the problem also is I also have like five million games that are like stream appropriate that I haven't been able to play yet just because my backlog is so damn long. So even getting to the games where I'd have to be like super creative to make them function on a stream. I mean, hey, whenever that uh, new Etrian Odyssey comes out on Switch or whatever, I'll perhaps just do a launch day like I just play for however the fuck long I want, no obligation to finish on stream kind of deal. Nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I, I it would probably be a good idea to do that kind of thing more often because there's a lot of games that that like I'd like to play on stream, but they're super long, like like Atrian is. So it wouldn't hurt to just be like, hey, I'm just gonna play like from the start of this in as deep as like I feel like or like I feel like is continuing to be entertaining. And then I'll finish it off stream or just like not do it continuously. So, I mean, I did say I was going to do that with Rune Factory, and now I'm just like finally soon, hopefully, going to be able to actually stream console games again. Keeps getting. Delayed because of, um, uh, well. Circumstances. But. Soon. Not that I've really made much progress on that game, even on my own time. I got a lot of shit to get through. And, I mean, more so, I've been distracted by, like, mobile games and shit, somehow. I keep telling myself, like, I don't, you know, I don't need to try and make progress on these games at home. When I spend so much time on pu public transit to where it's, you know, about all I can play. I keep being like, oh, I want to just grind out this event. Truly ruining my life. What's worse is that I do know logically that <laughs> with like 
I, you know, I've been playing a lot of Love Live recently, and I know, like, logically, like, there, there is only so much I could conceivably grind out of all, all the anniversary bullshit on public transit and still get done with in time. So I'm like, well... Now, now that I think about it and have justification to do this bullshit. Well, here we are. I'm at the tail end of that in particular, though, so, hey. It's such a silly thing to be procrastinating on playing, like, other video games. Life of a gamer. I'll get back to my rune factories eventually. It helps, probably, that I've switched, um, my main dating candidate, so I'm no longer, like, holding myself to trying to learn, uh, Con Lang. Every time I talk to my main girl. Not that I ever needed to do that in the first place, it was, but it was fun enough that I liked doing it. And I never wanted to, like, miss out on, like, an opportunity to... Like, oh, a new word. But then it became increasingly uh, obvious that her writing is unfortunately a bit shit. Sorry, Fuka. But they really didn't care about you, did they? Those writers? Cared enough to make that uh, con line, but didn't care enough to make you not, like, weirdly creepy and childish. I mean, creepy in the context of being a dating option. Ah, uh, video games. It's an artist I follow who makes all these Rune Factory charms, put out a full set of charms for five back when the game came out in Japan and I made a point of getting all the bachelorettes because I was like, well, I'm pretty sure I know who I'm gonna date. But if I decide to change that, I'd like to have the charm of the one that, you know, I end up liking instead. And all of them are really cute because her art, th th this artist makes really cute Rune Factory hearts. <laughs> so I want it anyway. Worked out for me. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm trying to uh Mary Miss Beatrice Rune Factory 5 uh uh yeah it's, it's not that it's like <laughs> this huge thing um but yeah at first with Rune Factory 5 I thought I was gonna go after Fuka or Lucy I think uh, Lucy at first then I found out about Fuka and it's like, ooh, Wolf Girl. And I saw her like character details and I'm like, well, they could be worried about that, but I'll remain hopeful. It's unfortunately. And then Lucy's character type is like fine. I don't like I I it, I, I am gonna be normal and marry all the candidates in different files, so I and like I won't mind going through her route, but she's not really for me, unfortunately, beyond design, which is like all I had to go off of initially.
Beatrice is very sweet so far, though. I mean, something else that doesn't stop me from making a lot of progress in that game is that, um, man, there's a lot of performance issues. So at times, it's not really great to play, and it's also kind of ugly in places. Worth it for my farming and my being gay, but, um, uh, well, sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I don't actually want to deal with that today. Maybe I, maybe I want to play a game that's well put together and not glitchy and laggy as hell. I say as I go to complete Legends Arceus. But for as ugly as that game can be, it's not... There, There's not really performance issues, honestly. I mean, there's probably some stuff that I'm forgetting about, but it's not, like, as strongly apparent. So, it makes for a more pleasing game to play, in that respect. Not much else you can compare the two on, they're very, very different games, but, um... All that I can think about, about, like, the Legends that makes it unpleasant to play beyond just, like, eh, these textures are kind of gross as hell is, like, the weird shit that happens with lighting in caves where there's, a, like, weird speckles of light that shouldn't be there around the edges of your character. That shit looks ugly, and it makes me not want to go in caves ever. The rest of it is, like, ugh, this could be way better, but it's, like, fine. <laughs> like, I look at any of the, like, human NPCs, I'm just like, You're very... you... Mm. It looks like your textures got a little compressed and they're a little melty. In a way that I would expect from, like, like if this was, like, upscaled from, like, a less recent console or even handheld. But it's sure current gen. I'm not even the type of person to give that much of a shit about that kind of thing. They just gonna, like, I mean, maybe I'm misremembering how good the trainers looked in, um, Sword and Shield. They at least looked like, what's even the word? Clean, I guess? Where is the... The, the the Legends Arceus characters, like you can tell, they had great designs, they have great ideas for their outfits. But, like... It's like they put in, like, their first draft of, like, both the models and the textures for uh, all the characters, and then it was just left as is. It's sad because like there's there's so many good character designs in Legends Arceus. Truly, like ah, uh, it's got some of the best um, character designs I feel like, as far as the humans go. In Pokemon in general, but they just all look awful because of the way the game is. They're so unique and cool and why does your why, why do your clothes look like that? Why are they doing that, sir? That can't be right. Ah, 
I can't even act like I tried to examine your model too close. I, it's the problem was that I looked at it for more than a second. And it immediately fell apart. Great design, bad execution. Also, like... Speaking of the human characters from Marcius... The fact that, like, every generation has at least one, like, NPC, you know, getting an ancestor through Legends Arceus is, like, for one, cool. It's, 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 like, it's cool to see how many characters are represented in Arceus in that way. And, like, the, the sheer variety and such being, like, yeah, here's, here's, like, the whole Sinnoh casts. Um, ancestors and no one else. But doesn't it kind of wonder if they are like anticipating that there might not be another Legends game? And we're like, we gotta, we gotta have like cool answers for ancestors for every generation in some capacity now, or they're never gonna get shit. I don't know. It's probably just for the sake of variety, but... It also is... There, there is some that's, like, a little weird, though, because it's, like, what? Obviously, the modern-day Pokemon world is a lot of, like, you know, people moving different... Uh, moving all over the place, and, like... Obviously, everyone could have theoretical heritage to Hisui, and it would make... Reasonable enough sense, but there's some like really weird ones where it's like Wolfric? Wolfric has like an ancestor? And Hisui is close enough related that he looks that similar? Of all the characters. This weird this weird big grandpa from France. Okay. I mean I guess. He was a weird pick for being, like, the only Kalos character that I can remember. You got an ancestor in Legends Arceus, because, like... Was he popular? I kinda... You see, like... I remember seeing him for the first time, and I'm just being like... You're just kinda... You're, you're, you're just the, the ice gym leader for this game. You, there's nothing else really going on here. Good for the bears, maybe, but even then... I don't know. Not much effort went into that, I don't think. All all that you're, you've got going on as a character, design, personality, everything. Uh, uh, mm. Maybe I'm underappreciating the man, but, um... I don't recall there being too much there. So yeah, suddenly seeing... Wolfric, two! But he's just like a tiny little man now. Was... Hmm. It's like, damn. Even if Wolfric did appeal to the bears, uh, or the people who like bears... Uh... Garrick, I think? Not doing much for them. I can't imagine. I appreciate that he doesn't look like a clone. And has a different body type. That makes sense. I don't know who he's for though. <laughs> he probably has a fan or two.
But I just can't imagine a lot of people were hyped to see Garrick. Like, holy shit. This is exactly what I wanted. The big mans from X and Y. Big ice guy. It's a little, 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 little buff guy. As a distant ancestor. From, uh, from uh, 100, 200 years ago. Who, who sticks around for about two seconds. And I say that like my favorite character from Legends Arceus is... <laughs> <laughs> like it had much more screen time than that. She did not. But like Sabi was like made for me. Sabi? Pronunciation. Um <laughs> Made for me, therefore I understand that one. I understand the baby. I know who they're aiming for with that character. It was me. They're like, eh, remember that chick from a uh, from a turn of forest who who has the chancy? Remember how she is? She's like, you thought you had like, yeah, you thought she had like good good design, but you weren't too attached to her. What if she had an ancestor who was just a little baby? She's a little girl. It's a little lady who likes to lead you on chases. And is a little mischievous. Like, I don't know, that feels kind of targeted towards me. Sabi's good. I, I hope uh, the Legends Arceus characters somehow get added to Pokemon Masters so that they can live on in some form, even if it's a gotcha game. Just for me. Just make uh, Pokemon Home somehow lore compliant, and then have like a weird bullshit explanation for how they travel through time, you know, with the trainers as well. And just break the entire timeline. I mean, like, at this point, the, the worm, well, the worm, the wormholes already sort of allow for some time travel, I would imagine. Plus, Hoopa taking, like, both the Grimsley from Black and White and the Grimsley from Sun and Moon out into whatever the fuck the region is called in Masters. You know, having both of them exist at the same time. I, gu I guess they don't really need much of an explanation. They would just... They would be significantly, like... Th there is a big difference between taking, taking someone from, like, 200 years ago and bringing them into... The same place as all these modern-day trainers than, like... Grimsley from year whatever to Grimsley from no more than a decade later at most. Being very generous about the Sun and Moon timeline. But it's fine. I think it'd be fine. I think it all worked out just fine. Wouldn't have to worry about it. It's... I can make it work. It would be interesting to see Ingo interact with Emmett, like a Legends Arceus Ingo with a regular Emmett. I don't know, maybe there's some shit that I haven't unlocked yet in Arceus. That gives, like, potential lore to how that might go down at, or some shit, but, like... I don't know. It's 
certainly they sh they could have some fun with the ancestors. <clears throat> Of course, the problem with expecting anything from Pokemon Masters in a character exploration standpoint, and you start writing expectations from that game, you shouldn't. They don't even do that great with their own original characters. <laughs> picture the greatest writing that we've seen in Pokemon series. It's not that. This is X and Y level. This guy is mean to his Pokemon, but if we teach him a nice lesson about friendship, he won't be, which is fine. It's <laughs> concerning the target audience, but there's sometimes I'm like, I know you've done better. I know you've done better. You can do it without, you know, while still appealing to that audience, but also giving them good content. Ah, well. I'll have to live with uh, Pokemon Masters being the game where Paolo, the arrival, loses the, um... Or whatever the fuck, the PML. And is like, how did I lose? Meanwhile, standing there with his unevolved Rockruff. How do I become more powerful? The game through, like, the game goes through some dumb steps to justify, like, or to, you know, work with the fact that you, you're the one in control of one trainers evolve their Pokemon. <laughs> like, it's fun to having evolved uh, Rosa's Snivy into a superior ages ago. And then you get through the entire story and it's still like a Snivy. Because it's like, well, we can't assume players have already, like, uh, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, all, all this training arc you're having these characters go through. And at no point, at no point could those little um, character episodes where she evolves her Pokemon happened. Not something anyone would have been like, hey, you don't have to, because this is your choice, but maybe you, could, you should probably consider. It's like you can't even nitpick it either because it's like, what do you expect? But there's definitely points where I'm like reading through the plot of that game and I'm like, can someone, can someone tell this person that maybe part of their problem might be that they're just weirdly refusing to evolve their Pokemon. When we know they do so later anyway. The whole Pokemon League, or the P PML, Pokemon Masters League, story arc in that game is also, like, weirdly baffling because they have this whole deal where, let me just ramble about this dumb mobile game plot to you all. They have this whole deal where, like, you will beat a, an enemy team of trainers and one of the trainers from that team will be like, I want to join your team, and that's allowed, and they can, if, if, you, if you choose participate in the next match with you, it's like, he... I, you, you just lost, you, you got beat in this tournament and you're allowed to just join a team that is 
the, the, the team that just beat you so they can continue to participate in this tournament that, that you just lost. And my team is allowed to be just literally as big as I want it to be. And that's considered to be fair for everyone. And when I win, people aren't just like, yeah. That person had like 30 people to choose from. They could just look at the enemy weaknesses and grab whoever instead of uh, having to strategize with what they have. No. Mm -mm -mm. Like, damn, how are you so strong? Well, you see, every single person I beat, I, one of the strongest people from their team just volunteered to join us. I guess there's a certain logic in it. In that, like, if you beat them anyway, it's not like you're... Cl clearly they're... Likely not on your level and won't be like... I mean, it's still weird. It's... <laughs> It's about as contrived as you, you would expect a Pokemon mobile game plot to be. And it's fun too because the whole game is structured around 3v3s. But like, the first several rounds of the tournament have you going up against like two characters at a time. And because of the format of the game, they just kind of shunt in some random ass NPC to fill in the extra slot and just like... You you realize you th did someone did someone on the writing team forget how this game works or did it change somewhere along the way? Why why is every team we go up against like presented as this team of like here's these two gym leaders, and then you start the battle and they also have Pokemon fan George over there. Who didn't show up at the, in the cutscene at all? Did they, where did they grab this guy? And can someone tell them that they might have a better shot at winning if they got a full team instead of just like, hey, do you want to be a pair and just find some random ass filler? Hmm. Lore-wise, technically, all the trainers on the island are, like, talented and strong and, like, the best of the best, and that's why they're selected to come there, there in the first place. So, Pokefan George is, like, one of the best Pokefans in the world. But! It's a little silly. It's, it's, it's a little silly. Second part of the tournament does actually have you going up, going up against, um, like... Teams of three, and I think that was the part that started being added after the game was released. So I don't know if it was realistically, it might have been a cost saving measure of like, we well, we only have like so many trainers, but if we structure the tournament around like the amount of like trainers we've actually like made 3D models for, and like blah blah, instead of using generic NPC trainers to fill in the blanks. It, it's gonna be like two rounds long. I don't know. Like, I can see that being the case. Where they're like just trying to stretch the starter group of um, characters. That being a little silly. And having strong gym leaders pair up with randos. But still. It's also great too for like the Elite Four challenges where it's like, yeah, you're going up against this Elite Four member and these two random other people are there too because that's, the game wouldn't really work if you, we kind of have, just, just pretend it's just the Elite Four and you're just doing like 
Pretend those are their Pokemon? I don't know. <clears throat> That's a good format. I think it's I, th I think it's a good idea for what the what kind of game it is, but sometimes it gets a little silly. A little awkward. For they're like they they clearly wanted you to go up against the specific singular drainer. But there is no way to reasonably justify them sending out three Pokemon. It's, you can just, you can always tell. And always someone they're like, well, has to be three. So, I guess. It's probably that does that does want to run like a Poké Roll campaign, the, the one like Pokemon uh, tabletop thing, within the like Masters format of like sync pairs though, because like thinking about what I've heard about how like six v six battles in Poké Roll take like five million years. I'm just like, you know what would make a lot of sense is to have one Pokemon forever that you can build up throughout time and, like, both, like, mechanically and also lore-wise as, like, this is my character's partner, period. And have battles take basically as long as, like, D&D, because y'all only have, like, one Pokemon each. I don't know. I want to do tabletop stuff on this shit eventually. On stream, that's <laughs> that's the wording. Um, I got ideas. I got friends to ask, but it's such a thing. It's a, it's a, it, it's such a thing to set up. Just have to get the ball rolling somehow, some way, somehow. So many plans, so 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 hard to execute. Even if I did have the time, motivation is a bitch. To say the least. Slowly think of ways to like combine things I want to do. Like, I keep mentioning that I want to do like storyboards on stream and shit like that because it's like I know I need to flesh out my portfolio. I need to get that kind of work done. There's a reason why I started doing art streams because I'm like, well, I know I want to like keep practicing art. So, like, merging like the things I'm doing both increases the variety of what I'm doing on stream, which hopefully makes things more entertaining and gets people to check out check out what I'm doing but also like condenses what I want to do so it takes no more time than it would otherwise or than I was already spending being smart we'll see if I can keep it up I mean, maybe one of these days I'll just be, like, editing clips for, like, TikTok on stream. <laughs> that could be an idea. So I sure as hell, like, I really, like, I keep thinking, like, oh, I should just, like, hammer out, like, edited clips so that I can have just, like, a month's worth. Because, ugh, God knows I need just, like, a massive backlog. I can reach into, uh, whenever... I know I need to post shit for, um, so to make the algorithm like me, but I just can't be bothered to edit something new. <laughs> A lot of funny moments happen on stream. I just, um, matter how, I mean, I guess I can make it even easier to 
put those things together. I probably should, but, um... Ugh. It's like I edited my most recent clip within, like, half an hour, which is, like, pretty fast. Especially considering I wasn't, like, trying, like, <laughs> trying to bridge to, like, I have to do this as fast as possible. I have to get my best time, like, you know. But it's still a long ass time for, like, ideally something I need to be posting every single day. Supposedly. To please the algorithmic, algorithmic gods. I just do a clip at a marathon, you know. It's a month worth of clips if I'm taking half an hour to edit every single one. The <laughs> 15 hour stream. Maybe not that, but um... Honestly, though, if I can find a way to make it entertaining, then hey. If not, though, then I don't want to just, like, do work on stream, essentially. Because I think, like, I think people would enjoy initially seeing what I do. For my editing process. But after about, you know, clip number four or five, they're going to be like, so we just have to, <laughs> this is all it is for today. Listening to the same audio five times over as you're like, what did I say? Like, how am I supposed to caption this? Hey guys, hey Chad, like, but do you think, do you think it makes more sense for me to like, caption the stutter I made here or should I just like skip it and caption what I was like trying to say do you think it matters <laughs> for what it's worth I do try to do the uh, former generally cuz can at least make it entertaining to do the like flash of like b word you know where I do like first letter Flash that caption up, and then full thing. That can be fun. But, um... There, there's definitely so many decisions that uh, go into, like, that other thing process where I'm like... I know no one gives a shit. And yet... I do. I know I'm not gonna give a shit by the- you know, after I'm done with it and have posted it. But the me of right now, in this moment, really cares about this decision I'm making right now. I mean, honestly. I'm not gonna say this is done, because it's not, because I want to do, like, polish and shit. There's still outlines showing, it's still pretty rough. You know? What it is for roughly a style test. I think it'd be nice to return on a later stream and like figure out how to even do that in the first place. What I even want to do to like finish it up. Like, do I want to do like more finalized outlines, that kind of thing? I don't know. I'll, I'll <laughs> I think we'll do that. I think I'll leave it as is for right now. Next stream, I'll do some finishing touches. Call it good. Maybe, maybe make some emotes or I don't know. Something or another. I'll figure it out. When I'm, like, less sleepy, you know. No less sleepy. But for now, I probably should get rest before I, like, have my appointment in the morning. That's... It helps. It's, uh, how, how long until I have to get up? Let me, let me check that real fast. What are we looking at right now? Uh, it doesn't want to show me. 16 hours. Mm. 
There it is, it's updated now. It was showing like what it was earlier today. So now it's 30 minutes. Probably want to get, uh, get, get off stream, get a meal, and, and um, knock the hell out. It's not, it's, not, it's not that close, but it's enough. It's enough. Okay. I really wanted to finish this in like less streams, but like... <laughs> uh, I'm too much of a perfectionist. I'm, I'm trying to fix it. Um, but I, 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 I get wrapped up in details way too much. <laughs> My curse. I am gonna see who is online though. Taking a read. Yeah, thanks for hanging out while I sleepily try to draw shit. I didn't think it was that tired before I started stream, but then I was like... Huh! My energy! Gone! Vanished! It's nice though, it's, it's nice streaming with that kind of vibe from time to time. Just kind of like, mumbling my thoughts at the microphone for a bit. I don't know. It's pretty fun. But Kai's playing some Monster Hunter, so I think I'm gonna send y'all over to say hi. But yeah. Tomorrow night, got some Zero Escape. That should be fun. I'm getting a very close to the end. It's probably gonna take like three. The estimate, like three, four more streams before we're going through all that, at the very, at the very least. Because it's, 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 <laughs> there's a lot of rating in that game. There's a lot of rating in that game, especially for most likely what we're about to be going through. So, that's fine. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. We're gonna get some good lore. See y'all tomorrow night. Of course, I got a fun event coming up on Saturday for Superversary that I'm gonna hopefully put up an announcement for reasonably soon. Um, I'll, 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 I'll try and remember to do that. <laughs> Probably. Alright. Good night, or otherwise have a good time zone. And bye-bye for now.